Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem C from the latest code forces round 649. Problem name a half and perfect max. So you are given an array A of length n and you have to find another array B of length n such that this condition holds true which states that for each i the max of all the bi's is equal to ai and what is max? It is a set of integers. Max is a set of integer is the smallest non-negative integer that doesn't belong to this set. Okay, so you are so let's understand max first. You if you put some integers in this max function, it will turn the smallest non-negative integer which doesn't belong to this set. Okay, so let's assume you put 4, 5, 6, then the smallest non negative integer is 0. Okay, but if you put 0, 2, 3, then the smallest non negative integer is 1. Okay, I hope you understand this logic first. So you have to construct an another array B such that if you take only the first element, so I'll uh, explain to you with this example. So let's assume just for this example sake, this is the answer. We'll talk about the approach later, but this is the example B which we have to output and this is the A which you are given. As you can see, till the first index, the minimum, if you just take the max of the first value, then the next smallest value which is not in the set of only 0 is 1 because if you just take a set of numbers which consist of only 0, the next smallest number which is not con inside this set is 1 because it's uh, 1 is greater than 0. Now if you put 0 and 1 in this function, the next fun the next smallest number which is not in this set is 2 and that's the answer as you can see 1, 2 and 3. Same as you can see in this example, if you take the max of 1, the smallest number is 0. Then if you take the max of 1 and 3, it's again 0 because the smallest remains 0. For 1, 3 and 4, the smallest is 0. But if you take the 1, 3, 4 and 0, now the smallest number because 0 is present, 1 is present, the next smallest present is 2 and that's why the answer is and the A input is 2. So you are given this value to be input and you have to output this value. Okay, now I hope you understand the logic part. Now move on to the code. I have written down these two examples and we will understand more from it. So what I have done here is because it's up to 20 power 5, I can do it in n log n. So what I have done here is I have made a set. And in the set, I will put numbers because the length of this is n. Let it is n, which is equal to 3. I will insert all numbers from 0 till like 2 into n, which is like 6 in this case, in a set. Okay. And then we will iterate over all the numbers in this inputted a ve vector and subtract it from this set. I will tell you why we are doing this but just stay with me. I will subtract these elements. So what does this means actually? I have made the set of all the numbers. Okay. Now if I subtract or delete out only these elements from this set, it will only consist of only those numbers which, which are not in this. Okay. If I take the smallest of them, we will like most probably get the number which is smallest and which is not in this set because we have this is the whole set. If we deleted all those elements from this set, this this set will consist of all those numbers which are not in this set and dot that all numbers we want in our final answer because we want all those numbers which is the smallest and not in this set. Okay, that's what I have made a set and deleted all these numbers. And thus we will remain the, with the numbers which are not in this set. Cool. Now our next target is to find out the smallest number. Okay. So what we can do here is we will also we have to find out the base case of the condition in which we have to return minus 1. So in which condition we have to return minus 1. As you can see. Okay. Let's assume there is only one number which is 100 in the input. The only number input is 100. Now for 100, so what, what you can see in this example, 
for one to be there the answer should be such that the smallest possible number for the smallest possible number this is the next number if we take the max of all the numbers then this is the number if i put zero for this in b the answer b vector then the max of zero will be one i hope you understand because it will give output of the next smallest number which is not in this set which is zero the next max value will be equal to one but the value of this is hundred so for this hundred to be answer we we should have at least all the numbers from 0 till 99 to be present there because then only if we take the max of all those numbers and all the numbers are present from 0 till 99 then the max value will be equal to 100 i hope you understand because if any of the number is missing in from 0 to 99 then that will be the number because max is the smallest number okay now because so how we can check if the index is, is 1, 2, 3 and so on then for 1 I can easily say that uh, the number at this position in A should be less than or equal to this condition which is the index. Why? Because if the number is less than or equal to this index then only it will state that for this number there should be at least these number of one number there should be at least one number which should be smaller than this it should be present if it's equal to 10 it tells that we are wanting 10 numbers to be smaller but our index state that we are only on the first number how we can have 10 numbers which are smaller than 10 okay so then at this condition we will hold true and we will turn minus one i'll take it onto the code and it will become more clear but i am saying that first we will take this set remove all those numbers we will remove with the set Okay, now what our initial steps will be? We will take out the first element and that will be our first value for this because that will be the smallest number which is not in this. Okay, so the first value is 0. Cool. But should the next value equal to 4? Because if we take only 1, if we take only 1, the max value of only 1 is 0. The max value of 1 and 2 that means if we take uh, or oh sorry this we have to find out the max value of these and that should be equal to this number so the max value of 0 is 1 but if we take 4 now if we just take out elements which are not present in this set and pop it out from this set the first value is 0 and we pop we remove this from the set because we have used 0 then we pop out 4 but if we use 4 then the max of 0 and 4 turns out to be 1 and the next value is 2 for 0 only the max value for 0 is 1 which is good but for max value of if we pop out the next element which is 4 the next the max value of 0 and 4 is 2 or oh, sorry 1 but the answer is 2 for it so how we can compensate with this loss because as you can see in this question also they are given that the next number is always greater than or equal to ai it means that the, the, the A is in increasing or non-decreasing order. So what we can do here is because it is a non-decreasing order, we can match it with the next number. How it is helpful? If we if the if this number is not equal to this number, then because so let's assume this is one, then the next number should be one or greater than one. Okay. So it should be two, three, four, and so on. If it's not equal to 1 then it's definitely greater if it's 1 and it's not greater than 1 it's definitely greater it will be 2 3 or so, something so on so if it's it's 2 then for 2 the smallest number should be equal to 1 i hope you understand because for 2 the smallest max value will be equal to 1 so what we will do here is we, for every value we will check its consecutive next value and if they are not same we will push this value which is 1 in the set again and now because we have pushed in the set again 1 the first value in the set after 0 will turn out to be 1 so we will always pop out the first element and the first value after 0 turns out to be 1 and that's the whole logic 
because the next element will be either one or greater so now as you can see in this case now in this case now the next element is equal to it we will push we will make the set of all those numbers we will first delete all the numbers which are present in this given num vector we will delete 0 and 1 okay now we will iterate over the first value and if we take or if we find out the max value and we will pop out the first element in the set which is 1 as you can see if we find out the max value of 1 it is equal to 0 which is cool now as you can see if these two terms are same then we need not to like push this next element in the set our next value will be just equal to 3 we will pop out the next front element from the set which is equal to 3 and still our max value will remain to be 0 only that's why we haven't pushed this new element because if we don't push the new element our max value will remain to be same but if our max value changes as you can see if our consecutive value changes then we have to push this value in the set because if it doesn't change then the next value will automatically compensate this value and the answer will remain out to be zero it will become more clear with the code now so i'll take it to the code and we will take the input of n take the set of long long make the uh, boolean variable for equal to true which is flag which is tell us that whether uh, we have whether this given condition is true or not and we don't have to return minus 1 so what we will do here is we will first insert from 0 till 2n all the numbers and then what we will do here is we will take the input of the numbers inserted in the vector and also we will check whether this number if this number get greater than the index value which I have told you there should be at least this numbers before it if this number get greater than the index value then uh, no matter how because the index is so greater we cannot put a smaller number behind this and thus the flag turn out to be false else we will not break here for every value we will erase this value from the s ok after going through this loop we will check if the flag turned out to be false we will just return minus 1 else what we will do here is we will store the answer for b in this vector b and we will iterate over all the values we will push back the first value from the set so from the set we will take out the first value using this and we will erase this value from the set then we will check the next value in the array because we are on the ith point we will check for the i plus 1 point if it is in the bound it is inbound and if the next value is not equal to this value we will insert the a of i else if this condition is not met both a i and a plus i is same we will not do this and again we will pop out the first element in the set and we will go on till we find out all the n elements we will have filled all the v elements in this vector and then we will print out all the v elements i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video keep coding and if you like this explanation please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one bye